show you about some uh, way, ways that you can get some things. Hi, everybody. Today is the last day of the month for October, for November, right? Um, I'm really excited um, for us to be together. Thanksgiving is over. Black Friday is over. I can't find my share screen. I think I have recording. Um, I did things different today. I just, do you guys see the picture? Yes. yes. Welcome so. to our party. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to our meeting. This is a new um, banner that I've made that I'm going to share with you guys right after the group. I don't know where is everybody though. Can I? Can you guys see each other? Yeah, I can see. I can't see people. any of you. Where Where did you guys go? It's so. Oh well. I I don't know if that matters, <laughs> right? So. I don't understand how I lost you. Oh, there you are. I don't understand that. Is it well, smaller you must have now? Had it. Well, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can. I guess I'll just I mean, have to do big and then maybe. No, I don't know. I'm wasting time. I was wondering. That's not working. I see you guys if I make it small. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, do you see how I have to click here? Um, to order so if you use the banner that says click here to order so this would be the the picture on the top that people see um just when you go in you would edit it and just add everybody's party link there because when people click on it they can see that wording it's all okay. over to the side of a banner page and if you guys want me to i can um show you that late you know when i'm done going through this this is okay like this right mm -hmm. yeah it's fine you can't do this do you see my background my picture background do you see that like i the, see a like quote should... okay <laughs> right. um yes here's my quote for you guys and for me today there's no downside to a hustle uh some people call a direct sales a hustle um the there, there are only benefits to building more than one source of income. So you guys are building an extra source of income when you have a side business such as a direct sales company. And we do kind of hustle to get our sales, to get our parties. A side hustle is the new job security. Um, you will always have a job with Pampered Chef. They're not going to come around and say, oh, we're going to let you go today. Uh, because as long as people are purchasing our products, you will always have a business. You won't have, it is job security. I don't know if you've ever thought about Pampered Chef that way. Have you guys? I had not. I'm checking to see, do I do have it on recording. Yeah, it's, I've always thought of it as an extra form of income. Um, just, I always know if I can get parties, I can add income to my ho household. And I do not see that Pampered Chef is going any, anywhere. Um, I know that in the past we have seen other direct sales companies um, change and everybody eats. Pampered Chef has um, home office team has talked to us about that because people get nervous. I think um, it, what a really like a couple jewelry parties um, went under a couple years ago and Pampered Chef had said they're, this is the job that they want. They like having consultants to be able to um, show people how to use the products and get sales that way. Um, here are our sales for the month. We hit our sales goal, 8,369.15, as of um, just before we started the meeting. We have, you guys, we have 16 parties. That's so awesome. I just realized we reached our party goal, too. Um, and our active goal is five. 100% uh, would be 13. And then the number of bookings would be two bookings per every party to because you have you want to have one to replace the business you just had and then one to grow your business so we still work on that and sometimes i you know the bookings might come after um the only way that i know that uh, you guys have bookings is if you actually put it in at the time of the party um you designate that person wants to book a party um do you guys know where that is at it's right up in the mm -hmm. consultant area and you can actually create the party from there. But it also is important now to do that because your host can get $50 in free product when they have three bookings. 
But if you don't put those bookings on, it makes it harder for Pampered Chef to track it. So then that's just more work. It's just easier to make sure you have those bookings on that party, you know, just to make it easy. Uh, Pampered Chef has said if somebody orders from the party, the party closes out and that person has a, par a party, they can track that because that person ordered at that party. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, and then let's see, for our sales, Rhonda, you, you went over the 1250, was it just this week or was it the week before? It was the week before. I okay, think. but you got some sales from Black Friday, I think. So great job. And Angie, you're doing a great job. I love that you're making your business work, um, especially new, everything's so new. So, um, and everybody's doing good. Congratulations to everybody. I wanted to tell you guys about a couple of the meetings that we have uh, for you available. Every month, Pampered Chef does a meet, meet webinar. Meet me, meet me, I think it's called. <laughs> and it's for people who are interested in Pampered Chef. So what you can do is go to the stir and look up that meeting and they hold one, one every month um, and they're doing theirs tomorrow. So if you know somebody that's interested in selling Pampered Chef or becoming a consultant or wants to, you know, stock their kitchen and maybe we'll try out the business for a little bit, uh, you can go in to that Meet Me webinar and you can get the information there. And when you share it with the person, they can register for the, the Meet Me web, webinar. And even if they don't go, Pampered Chef will send them that link of the replay. And it's, um, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. It really depends how many questions people have. And it, I really like it because you have one person from home office and two very successful consultants who talk about Pampered Chef. And it's way different than, you guys always hear what I have to say, but these people have, other, you know, you get to hear somebody else. So even if you wanna check it out, you can register for it and, you know, see what it's all about too and watch it on your own time. And then Angie, they have a new consultant webinar that is on Tuesday that you can sign up for. And again, if you can't make it, they'll send you the replay. So you just go in and register for it. I don't know. They said they were sending out the email tomorrow morning. Okay. But yeah. So you should get that. But if you don't, you can go in the stir and find it. And Rhonda, I don't know if you, if you're considered new because you're over a year, but you yeah. might get one too. I don't know. Okay. I do believe that you can go in and, and find the, the replays after like a week. They'll put them on the website. Okay. in the stir section oh that was for that one so i have no idea what i'm doing you guys no i do <clears throat> do you guys know uh, the host reward for december is the same that it was for november i love the scale where your host can pick whatever they want at 60 percent off so anybody who's made a wish list um with you or you know somebody who said they want something even if it's like the manual food processor or a brownie pan they can get it 60 percent off with a party um two hundred dollars i break that down to about five orders so um and then when they reach 650 they would get a second one so your host this time i don't know her name but once she reaches 200 she'll get that first one and over 650, she'll get a second one. Oh, I wish I would have put January's down. Um, January is um, cookware, cook some stainless cookware. I'm not sure what the, it's not a 60% off your choice, but if you submit a party between the 1st and the 10th of January, they will get the quick shred, the host will, free. Mm. So, what you can do is you can set up your party towards the the last week of Chris, of December after Christmas and then turn it in on the first. So just be aware of that when you're um, working on your parties this month. I feel like I'm going to burp you guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually eat before our meeting and I was so hungry I ate. Now I see why. Uh, the guest special. And then we have free for all again. Do you know if we have more than this? for December, just the 2000 and that's, 
that's the end i would, I usually they know. do they do the four levels so mm -hmm. i apologized i this is the picture i had for it i'm assuming this is it so well it's not just yet i mean you can get 140 dollars worth of free product that's pretty awesome mm -hmm. and it's going to be the new new items so and angie you are still pretty close to getting the the level one for um this month aren't you pretty close do you know how to check your sales i have no idea really okay. I, haven't, I haven't really looked um, if anybody orders though tonight off that party and it pushes you over and you submit it it would count so i'll see if i can show you before we get off here do you guys know it's free shipping as long as it's not in a party like they can order on your website Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have had any orders. I promoted it and I just haven't gotten any. Uh, this is, these are the reasons not only to have a website for your party so they can order online at the parties, but if you don't have your website paid for and current, um, then you can't participate in these, um, these kind of things because nobody can find your website because you didn't, you don't have one. Um, so it's $60 when you pay for six, $66 when you pay for six months, which is what I do and 120 for the year. And Angie, you get your first three months free. So just be aware when you're getting your commission, maybe to put some of that commission back for that website. Because if you get one or two orders from your parties every month, actually, if you get one, you should be able to make your $11 back, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's always good to have. And then the quick cooker special. Did you guys get any sales for Black Friday? It, Rhonda, I think you did. I don't know. My sister was trying to order to use her past host credit. Yeah. But it's not it's not showing up when she goes to check out. Okay, so is she using the right email? And but did she, she did she create an account? Because that's yeah. what I found. She has created an account. Yeah, because she was a host before. So she had an account from them, I think. That's I mean, I called home office about somebody and they looked her up. And they said, well, she hasn't created an account yet. And I thought, well, she, was, she wasn't my, she was someone on our team. And right. she wasn't my host. And I just assumed you hosted a party, so you had to right. have ordered. But the whole consultant probably placed the order for her. Okay, so I will ask her. If she doesn't have a, like if she, did right. she create a password to get in to place that order? Because you can go in and you can just place an order without right. a password so okay. ask her that and then if she, if she tries to reset it and it says they don't recognize it she hasn't created one okay and if not pampered chef did say today some hosts are not it's not coming up for them so to let them know okay i think it'll be in the stir tomorrow and then the december visley code i knocked down 16 posts did I? I'm so happy. I think we have way too. Do, how do you feel about how many posts, Angie? Do you think it's um, a lot? I I do. I think it's a lot. Um, I think peop, some people I have really are engaged in all of them, and other people don't. Have, like you might see them comment on one or two. So right. I, I think it's nice that they're such different times of the day. Um, oh. But yeah, it, it it was. It's a lot. It really is, it is a lot. So I'm going to try to keep, I took out five o'clock, um, but still Friday, the last day I have way too many. I feel like I, I, I just really have a hard time. I think, oh, I want to show, you know, I want to show this product. And so I'm going to try to get that down even more next month. But I was very proud to have gotten down um, as many as I did. And we do go out five more days after the party just because i know that sometimes people are wrapping up they haven't ordered yet and so i like to let um i thought that it would be nice to let people know that the party was still open by adding a couple posts a day afterwards and that's about i think that's about 15 of the posts so um which is after party posts 
on Thursday, there are two posts that give a gift. So if you don't want to give that gift, just go in and change up the wording or delete a post. One is the Santa Claus one. And I just said that, um, you know, participate this and I'll do a drawing for a season's best. So if you decide that you don't, you know, say you don't have any season's best, the best thing to do is pick somebody who ordered. And that way you can just tack it onto their order. And it's $2. Mm -hmm. Um, you paid up front, but you get commission on that. Um, and then the other one has worked really worked well in parties and you can choose if you want to do it or not. It comes in at four o'clock and it says, um, if you order tonight before 10, you'll get a, a gift with your order. And again, you can, it, I base it on how big the order is, but usually I'll get a couple orders that way. So and totally up to you if you want to or, or not, it is a tax write off. So tonight's training, look at us. Um, uh, we're just going to talk about different ways you can use your business. And sometimes that brings you out of your comfort zone. And I do think this, maybe it's out of order, maybe not. Um, so when we're talking about doing our direct sales business, our comfort zone is that middle circle where Honestly, our comfort zone is not a very big risk involved in getting more business. It's safe. And um, honestly, you're just in your circle of friends because that's who you're comfortable with. And then sometimes we don't even ask our friends because we don't feel comfortable about that. So we are not um, taking any risks. And if you look at the very outer circle, that is where you're going to see the biggest growth in your business. Um, you, you, will, um, you will just have things happening. The more risk you take in your business, the more results you're going to have. I, I ask people all the time if they'll have a party, but um, I get a lot of no's. But I, I do what I, I try not to sound pushy, and I have brought it to a, um, you know, I have that wording that I give you, and I feel it's okay, comfortable lies that way, but it's still uncomfortable to ask people, <laughs> you know, it's still like, ooh, but if I didn't, I, you know, my business would dry up. So just remember that um, they always say the people who take the biggest risks have the biggest growth in their business is um, what they train about. So I'm gonna be posting this in our group and I'd like to know after you see it all, how you would like it posted. So just go with it. It's 12 days of Christmas challenge. I will have a prize for everybody who takes part of this. And um, let's, let's make the goal together of how many out of 12 we do, okay? <laughs> Because I know that people are busy and I would think 12 would be a lot, but maybe not after you see all of the, the challenges. So tomorrow is um, Giving Tuesday. And so your, your uh, challenge would be on the first day to promote an online mystery host party or a fundraiser. And I think a fundraiser, especially for Feeding America, would be really great to do. Um, and then you just post in the picture of the action that you took like the party link or whatever and it could be a one day party it could be you know a typical party that you do um, it could start next week and you're starting to promote it but you've created it and you've started asking people if they want to attend the second one is to promote your 10 and under gifts that make great stocking sucker stuckers <laughs> stuffers <laughs> Um, where are you going to uh, promote them? Would you send an email to your, your guests? Would you post it on your timeline, your Facebook business page, your Facebook group if you have one? Um, would you send in a message to a couple people? Those are all things that you would decide and then you would post below and tell us about what you did to do that or maybe show us some of the pictures. Um, if you don't have many catalogs, you could do you guys have many catalogs? Mm -hmm. Okay. I do. Did you get, oh, perfect. So you could ask, hand this out and ask people for their information. So the way I feel comfortable doing this is I tell people um, that I, I do a drawing once a week um, for all the contact information I collect. And I give out a season's best cookbook. So 
I mean, people will give you your, their information and I'm not sure how well this would like I'm not going to go up to people during the pandemic and try to you know I don't know but I might to a friend who I don't have their contact information mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be all in one day it could be throughout the week and you could just do a drawing with those people and the the goal is to get bookings from that so you guys have your um drawing slips did you get drawing slips in your kit so you could use those with the mini thing and just have them fill that out or i have i have something that i can print for you guys i want to i better i have something that you could print off um i'll put it in the group tonight so the printing contact and then i said i was going to post something else in there do a live demo on your Facebook page. Uh, you could do it on your your page and just show something for the holidays, whether it's a recipe, um, something that makes a great gift. And you do this all before the 12th days because the 12th is our cutoff for Christmas. Um, email, message, contact 10 people about your January host special. And I would really talk about those free um, quick quick shreds they are very popular people really really like them um, you could even post a picture of the quick shred and say this is what you get free when you turn in a party in january you know um who want or just say who wants this free and everybody who says yes you can let them know you have a party um it's a you collect about five orders are you in would you like what do you think i always ask what do you think at the end um, oh, do it again. Number six. Number seven, um, the host coaching letter. Okay. So Pampered Chef gives these host coaching letters. I don't know why they don't do it through the whole year, but they do November, December, and January. And they have cute little recipes on them. So, oh, you can find them in marketing imagery. But they only do them those three months. Ever since I've been in for eight years, that it's only those three months that they have them. Um, okay. So you would send the letter out. Oh, so there's a group of three. That's what it is. There's a group group of three. So you would look for number one. If you guys can't find it, let me know and I will get it for you. Um, make 10 out of the box calls. Oh, from your past parties. Angie, that's going to be hard for you. <laughs> so you would have to like figure that one out right you can improvise yeah. people who you think would have had a party with you I'm supposed to, I'm in a, you can always do too i'm in a challenge and i have to reach out to 10 people today so i hope you don't mind i've done that before just something that i mean it really does take the pressure off your comfort zone level and it takes the pressure off to them because they're like oh okay they always tell me oh I see Judy and you'd be surprised sometimes people you never expected to have a party they will um, take a dash class or listen to a coffee talk I had one all thought out um, to do for coffee talk and it slipped my mind Ooh, Rhonda are you working at at home back at oh work? I'm I'm back in the office now oh, okay perfect and Angie's in an office and I know you already did this last week <laughs> um, you couldn't do ch a child's school either, Rhonda, could you? I couldn't do a child's school. I don't think, I think all of Mancelona's schools are, were, are from home right now. Right. Um, set out some catalogs with the, so that's another one. Um, the ninth day, that's the ninth day. Did I do two? I'm missing the 10th day, you guys. Uh, <laughs> we have those batter bowls in that evernote document that i mm -hmm. showed you and i can post the batter bowl layers with the recipes in our group um offer to message gift tags and let's see do you have questions about any of these let me know you guys i didn't even ask you what happened to number 12 and number 13 oh. and number <laughs> No, I I copied these and I wrote them down. I have them all numbered. I did notice that 13 was gone. Maybe I just clicked it too fast. 
um, reach out to all your January hosts. How would they like to get a paycheck? You know, just asking them if they would like to um, join Pampered Chef. Okay, let's see. There's 12. We did 12, right? Oh, that says 11. It does say 11. Oh, here's 11. Where's 12? You have 11 twice. Oh, but, but, oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, uh, that's Judy. I'll show you the twelfth one later. So I got them all right. Ninth is ten gone. Yeah, yeah there's no ten twice. and there's okay. no twelve. <laughs> well, I I labeled it as the right one, so I will um I'll get those other two. So how many do you think? Because it's a twelve day period. How many do you think that would be? I don't want to like make it impossible to do all twelve. I don't think I could do all twelve. And I'm, I don't have an outside job. This is my job. Oh, I sound wonderful, don't I? I don't think <laughs> I could do it. Um, I mean, I would like to shoot for doing all 12. But for me to give a prize is what and right. I know. I know, please don't feel awkward, but I want people to be able to earn a prize. And I don't want to make it too hard, but I don't want to make it too easy. And I'm just, I think of me as a seasoned consultant and if somebody said do 12 and you get a prize I'd be like okay I'm gonna do all 12 but it would be hard like I don't think you can do a couple of these mm -hmm. like the pass out the five minis I, I don't know that I would see five people right <laughs> maybe you guys see five people I could go to my neighbor <laughs> Do you have I some have to company over? Out, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do you think, Angie? 12 is going to be a lot. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, because it's with the holidays guys, coming up and everything. And I mean, I, I work full time, so it would be almost impossible for me. But um, do you think seven? I, I don't know. I, I would love to do it all, but 12 is definitely a lot that's what i thought too and i'm not working a full-time i was thinking working a full-time job in christmas activities i mean it would be nice in a perfect world to do all 12. um what about seven it's over half or do you think half six they had a bonus thinking, i was thinking six okay let's do six i mean the gift isn't going to be anything extravagant <laughs> trust me but just something fun to do for christmas well, I'm excited. Thank you for helping me with that. Um, I also talked about having a, a letter for Christmas and I looked that up and I'm going to show you guys that in just a moment. And then the last one is um, let's set a goal. Um, I, I, for me, for Pampered Chef, I have requested people to be friends from Pampered Chef through the years who I've come across. I don't do it as much anymore, but when I was, when it wasn't weird, I guess, <laughs> maybe it seems weird now. Um, anyways, I have a friend who I met um, in this big, I don't know, did you ever know about the white winter sa blowout sale? It was like seven years ago and it blew out our our internet, like no mm -hmm. website, nobody could order, they made us, like they told us to, um, to do it up and you could order at six in the morning. Like they made it some weird time or, or one in the morning. It was one in the morning. So we all stayed up so that we could order because the deals were like $6 stonewares. It was like crazy deals. And um, it broke the internet and nobody could order. Like nobody could order. <laughs> Anyways, I met a couple consultants during that time. And one of one of them, Sarah, she put on there that she had 166 parties. This was her post. Thank you. I love you guys. You know, I had 166 parties. Um, thank you for being part of my business. And I was like, oh my word, you are a rock star. She said my goal was 200. And I thought, I don't even make a goal for a year for my parties. So uh, I think that it's good to have goals. And you know, I said, do you do that every year? She said, yes, I do. So um, she thinks she's going to get 200, but she's um, really a go-getter. <laughs> Anyways, 
I just wanted to share that with you when you're setting your goals. We talked about doing um, quarterly, we talked about doing monthly, but what about a yearly goal of how many parties you'd like to do and what you'd really like to do and then what you can do is break that down um, to quarterly goals and then break that down to monthly goals just to, you know, do chunks. So I was like, I'd love to do 200, but that would be just, I couldn't do 200. Um, so I'm going to go really high. I'm going to go really big. I'm going to do 150. And I, this is my job. I mean, the more parties I have, the more, more independence I'm going to have, the more I'm going to be able to provide for my son um, and more doors will open for me. So that's my goal. Do you guys want to set a goal now? You want to, I've thought about mine for a couple days. And if you want to think about it. Um, um, yeah. I will say I, for next year, that's what we're talking about for yeah, next for year. Yeah, for a whole year, yeah. Um, I would say 50 parties. I think this year, I think I'm on party 26 or 27. So that would mm -hmm. still be quite an Double. increase. It would be. But, and then you break that down to monthly, that's four parties, that's five parties, two months, and four parties, mm -hmm. 10 months, which is very doable. What about you, Angie? You want some time to think about it? I know it's brand new. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta just get a grasp on everything. Yeah, it's, you're so it's new, so. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. to get started here and figure out what works with my work schedule and stuff like that, so. Sure. And, and um, you're still figuring out like if you want to do three part, three day parties, five day parties, and how that's going to work for you. Um, also, then what would you like to end the year with for your parties schedule? So you had 27. Do you want to hit mm -hmm. 30 for the year sure. or? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then Angie, you just want to still work on um, like maybe a goal of finding how many days you want to do for a party or finding the days that, because I think that's a good place to start. Then you can focus on how many party, you know? Yeah. Like maybe something focus about, because you keep saying how you want to get a grasp on. What do you want to get a grasp on so you can kind of measure that? that did you get a grasp on that this month like you wanted to well and it's different this year too because everything's crazy you know like mm -hmm. i would i would much rather go and do in-person stuff but obviously we can't do that um so i just need to i just need to really learn like i i will be honest with you i'm 32 and i have no idea how to work facebook I, well i mean I mean, I know that's my generation, but I really am crazy. I'll think She's something not. goes on and it's great. And then I'm like, wait, what happened to that? So I just, I'm, I'm, um, I guess the virtual aspect of it was a little more challenging than I anticipated. Well, you're doing fabulous. You are doing fabulous then. <laughs> um, um, I'm just trying to figure out how that works. So could I maybe like meet with you? on your day off and do a virtual, like answer some Facebook questions for you and show you some aspects. Yeah. And think about that and then tell me what time, cause I'm available Friday. Okay. Um, I mean, well, whatever day, I prefer Friday over the weekend, but. Sure. Um, it might not be this Friday cause I have a, a class that I have to take. That's basically three quarters of my day. Um, so I have to take that class, but um, maybe next week. Yeah, sure. Or okay. if you have another time that works for you in the evening, but I know that you're probably really tired. So um, I did want to show you that letter. I don't know. Oh, hi. Let me see. Um, I've got one minute. Is this? No, you guys. Um, oh. I think you'll be able to see it here. So we have um, on Google Drive, we have uh, our own Google document. It's in the announcements, you can find it. So this is the letter and I have it in 
I went on Canva and I made it colorful. So I will add the um, document. It's in a Word document, but it's not colorful. So, but I'll give that to you. And I got it from another direct sales and it just, it doesn't ask you for a, a booking or anything. It just says, thank you for being part of my business. And then you can switch it up a little bit because it's edible, editable, <laughs> edible, it's edible. So you guys, I hope you have a great week and I really appreciate you spending time with um, working your business. All right, you guys. All right. Have a good week. Yep. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.